me down there. That dude's just fucking eating in the kitchen. There's Venus fly traps on the fucking ground. Bro? Hey. We've got Ooh Lyman Essence. That'll look kind of weird and I'm not gonna even bother touching those. Space plant. Huh. How long is this game? I'm not too sure. One of many jump scares. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, Jesus fucking. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to get out. Or only one key, actually. <laughs> Someone's having quite the shower. Oh, no. Oh! All right. What the fuck? I'm gonna steal Power's line. Subscribe to channel. Why does he turn the flashlight off when he's trying to read something? You think if he's looking at a note, he'd keep the flashlight on it so he could read it. If someone's reading this letter, then be careful with electricity. There are power. What? Ah, uh, fuck. Vince, I got five of them. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot fat. That's all right. Does that let you clip anything? That's fucking weird. Huh. Sorry about that. I wonder if there's something going on. Oh my god. One of the fucking... Thank you. Jesus Christ. Three. The terror they shall face. That's the second one. So this was a three I just said? So... I keep forgetting the numbers. Fuck. <laughs> it feels strange to say, but his eyes bring one word to my mind. Death. He doesn't seem to be the same. I fear the devil has gotten to him. Ooh, well, you might be right. Do I remember the caregiver? Yes. Um... <laughs> Now we can unlock the remaining doors. Well, except for the knob one. Shut the fuck. Wait. <laughs> fuck. Downstairs. Sleep is for the weak. Wow. All right. Pro non sleeper. I'll see how stream and try and help. I have to take tablets to sleep, and sometimes they don't work like today. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I am Oh, my God. Game saved. Cool. Now move in. Now move out. There he hands is. up. Now hands down. Back up. Back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. Breathe in. 
Now breathe out, hands up, now hands down, back up, back up, tell me what you're gonna do now, come on, keep rolling, 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 ah, uh, keep rolling, 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 what? Not too many, more here, the more crazy I get, queen, why don't you turn the light, the fu fucking asshole. What do you fucking want? Oh, there's pictures up here now. There were not pictures up here. <laughs> fucking. Oh my god. Oh, the fucking breaking light bulbs always do it. Oh. Why do I watch you play these games? <laughs> her old crucifix like it's the only thing she has she needs to get over it who knows maybe being dead isn't all that bad uh well you, you probably figure that out now <laughs> fuck fuck got her oh Hey. Damn, you are looking mighty fine, you remind of Simba. I, I don't get the joke, I'm lost. <laughs> Fuck. I almost threw my fucking mouse. Oh! oh. This is a cultist or something? Oh no, that, that must be Sister Mary. Who thinks she had her whole headdress on and everything? <laughs> oh my god. And it was sticking straight up in the air. I. Uh, that scared the fuck out of me. Found two shotgun shells. Fantastic. Oh, I can't pick up the knife. All right. What the fuck? Hi, Fry. Survival horror or psycho, psycho, biological horror? You mean psychological horror? If so, yes. Very heavily onion. It's weird because it's a jelly bean, so it wants to be sweet. But it's onion. Can't, I can't get myself to swallow it. Don't clip that. It's like I don't even know you anymore, Jug. You don't know me? Why? <laughs> you know me now, bitch? Hello? Oh my! Oh, oh, that thing fell over, right? Fuck! Whoa! What the fuck? 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 Whoa! Fuck! 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 Good lurks, I want to play this. That hey, completely fair, dude. Thank you so much for uh, the lurk. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, I'm the juggernaut. I play horror games, drink hot sauce, eat disgusting tasting jelly beans, and uh, and scream a lot. Good lurk. Hello, everybody. Hello, Soma. Thank you, Fry. The bit has been fried. <laughs> Thank you, Fry. Spores here. Soma's here. <laughs> Polish is here. What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. It is a uh, a snowy evening this evening. Um, 
I don't believe it's supposed to pick up that much, so I'm feeling good. Obviously, keep fingers crossed for all good things. Um, let me double check the weather now that I'm thinking of it. Right, type weather after that, please. There you go. Fuck, got a shovel. Yep. <laughs> Fuck the Monday. <laughs> Correct. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it's going to stop. It's probably already stopped now that I think of it. Or it's coming down to a close, which is good. Not much. I think we got half an inch. It's pretty good to me. I the dispenser saying it was fucking snowing, so I didn't go out. <clears throat> it wasn't that bad. Coming out little flakes. Um, so... Um, I was... Uh, I was doing a bit of a talk last Saturday and I'm thinking this upcoming Sunday we do a movie night and I haven't written down what the vote's going to be yet. Uh, but I'm thinking we'll do it this Sunday night. Um, I'm going to be on call, which is going to suck, but um, I owe everybody an actual um, watch party for January. Uh, because the train to Busan was from Jugtober. We were catching up. I don't know if we're going to do Hereditary. Um, maybe I'll I'll put a uh, maybe I'll put it in the poll. But I want a couple of different uh, a couple of different uh, movies on there to see what people think. Just want to drive to Lowell while it was snowing because that shit is awful. I'm going to drive into Lowell for that. Oh, that sucks. I can go to a any town that touches my town has at least one dispensary in it. I don't have to drive too far. <laughs> Highly recommend Session 9 for watching. Yeah, Session 9 was... Session 9's not bad. Uh, is that the one with the, th um, the dude from CSI Miami's in it? Uh, world's greatest fuck you ever in that movie? Yeah, I've seen... Hey, fuck you. <laughs> it's so good. What kind of watches... Are we movies, Soma. And movies that you could see in a theater or... How do I put <laughs> motion picture? I hate Steam. Uh oh. Rolex watch. <laughs> oh my god. Got recommended cuckold lamb <laughs> simulated. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna multi are you gonna multi stream that with uh with Lob uh, with Lobuser? <laughs> Oh, lost my Brolex at a frat party once. Oh, my word. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, so, um, tonight, uh, we have Stories Untold, uh, part two. Well, it's part two for us. Uh, so, it's four different stories. There's four episodes. We've done the first two. Now, we're on the back two. Uh, episodes three and four. So we're going to be doing that tonight. Um, I'm assuming we're going to have more time at the end. So I'm going to start uh, Remothered Broken Porcelain. It's the sequel to Remothered Tormented Fathers that we played a week or so ago. It was pretty good. Of course, that was our old boss's boss who wanted me to bang his wife. Yes, correct. No kink shaming, but I figured I'd make a good reference. Um... So let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so those are they said that blah, 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 blah. that's what's on our schedule for tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to both of them. Stories and told's been pretty good. That first one had a really weird bug with it, and then we kind of figured it out, and we've been smooth sailing since, which is good. And then um, I've heard mixed reviews on the second game because it's a lot different from the first one. But I mean, if you think about it, play the first Resident Evil, then play the second one, and it's a progression. But I guess the way I was, I was talking to somebody about it, they said it's more like if you jumped from Re Resident Evil 1 and then right to 4 and how different those two games are. Riz! What up, Riz? Welcome in. Um, so really quick, before we uh, we start off here, um, I wanted to hit the wrong fucking button. I'm the best. Oh, I guess that's still broken. Great. Um, I wanted to give 
a quick shout out to our dear friend Soma because Soma has done something that only a few of us have, and that's reach affiliate. Not only that, but in record fucking time. It was like a week, week and a half. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> Valheim taxi. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody clip that please. Valheim taxi. I love it. So if you're not following Soma, please do. The link's right there. Go ahead and give it a clicky click. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Did I do the wrong one? No, I did it right. Okay, cool. Or maybe I didn't, and maybe Fry did it right. But yes, please give Soma a follow. All the love to Soma. Bree- no, there's no breeze in this band. <laughs> um, and as for the beer tonight, beer one of two. I'm drinking two beers tonight. Fuck it. Uh, we've got the Night Shifts Apple Pie Scraper. It's uh, apple, cinnamon, nutmeg, and milk stout. There she blows. So to all of you and to Soma, congrats. You made it through Monday. You're affiliated. And now you're stuck with me. It's not that good. No, and neither no, is my... No, 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 no. I see. Yeah, I've I've had better. Oh, well. <laughs> Y'all are the best. No, 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 no. We're all of the best. That's how it works. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, okay, Riz. Yes, true. Very true. <laughs> um, I, I was actually going to try. Uh, I did try. <laughs> It got turned down. I figured I would, uh, but I didn't say anything right away. But there's a, uh, it's a, I think it's called Inso- Insomnia, Insomniac, or something like that. Some type of video game, um, uh, not festival, convention. Uh, lots of streamers and content creators end up going there, and um, they like will have like booths and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't want any of the boots or anything like that. I was just like, hey, just give me the pass. Like, I'll buy my plane ticket. I'll get my hotel room. Like, I'll come by and like, we'll, we'll make it happen. Like, totally. And uh, no, I got turned down. So I don't, <laughs> they're like, your, uh, your numbers are pretty good, but they're not good enough for this, uh, for this gathering of streamers and content creators. And I was like, it's all good. <laughs> so I figured I'd give it a shot. I all see Cuck Life so on my Steam front page. This to be a separate adult sex for more CCV chugs. Eh. The people that want to be here will be here. See, now I'm curious. I'm going to go look at Steam. Get good CCV. Okay, so I go to store. <coughs> right, on the, right on the front page. Um, I don't know where you guys are. See, oh, yeah, there it is. It's on. Oh, you know why? It's on new and trending. It is on this the second one, because the first one is Ghost Re- Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and the one directly beneath this Cuckold Life Simulator. Oh, so it's uh, it's new and trending. There you go. Um. Hmm. What else? Oh, I have to do more scheduling out for other things. Um. With our special Jugtober leftover prizes, um, I'm gonna avoid the Saturday nights just for now because we're doing a way out with Knox, and I don't want to like interfere with what we're doing with that game because it's obviously it's another streamer, you know, playing with me and whatnot. Um, but like during the week, like tonight, the Mondays and Thursday nights, like I think we're totally in for whatever. So um, I'm gonna try to get this shit booked out and be done with it, so that we can move on to new ideas and new concepts because i do have some some thoughts some th- ideas but i don't want to move towards that until we officially close the book on jugtober uh redemptions so to speak so we'll get that done um i've also been told that 
two games we've never finished, Love Sam and Who Knocks, have got updates that should be able to make the game uh, progress, progressible, able to progress. We'll be able to move forward with where we got stuck. The only problem with Who Knocks is apparently with that update, it breaks your save. Um, so I'm probably going to replay it offline up until we get to that second part where everything just started sucking ass. Um, Love Sam, I did not hear any problems with it. So at some point, I think we'll give it a shot. Or maybe I'll get, I'll start the game, get to the point where... Who was it? Polish bastard. So, um... I'll get to the point where we got stuck where that, that stick figure wasn't there. If I find the stick figure there, whatever it was, boom, hit pause, it would be good to go. Wait, what did I miss, beautiful? I'm spin kicking. Jesus Christ. You didn't miss anything. We just shooting the shit. Um, but yeah, so we'll eventually get back to those two games. Um, stay out of the house. We've never finished. Um, I really hope the hidden deep, uh, drops more levels soon because I think they dropped like one or two levels in the last update, but they haven't done anything since, or at least I haven't heard anything. Um, and there's a ton of other games I have installed here that we haven't even opened yet. So Oh, and SCP Secret Files never got back to finish that. But that came at a weird time anyways, so I feel that. Um, Inscription will be like the cool, like, chill game. We're just doing it for fun. Um, we have a few other stuff that's on here. Word, word, word. Okay. Uh, so without further ado, I am ready for some stories untold. Hello? There you go. <laughs> Where the fuck's the game? The two of you call it the house abandoned. We walk into a house, we go upstairs. I find this old, old computer. I can't remember what the, the style is. Um, but we play a game. It's like a text game. And eventually we, in the game, find the exact same room and start playing it. And then... The game within a game is the same thing as walking into the house and eventually coming upstairs, opening the door, except the door actually opens. You could hear us walk in like behind our actual selves. It was very strange. Um, the lab conduct, we were trying to like do testing on this heart and we got it beating. We're like, oh, cool. And then eventually it exploded and there was this orb that was in there and it woke, it woke all the other orbs and those orbs like killed all the other humans in this lab. It was really crazy. Um, so that's where we left off was the lab conduct. So now we're onto the station process. No idea what this one is, but it looks like it's another computer screen. You know, it's the same type of stuff. Like there's a terminal area. So uh, without further ado, let's do it. But beyond the screen to progress. Oh yeah, this dope intro. We'll be here, Spore. Thanks, man. Okay. Let's see. Station three, do you read me? No. Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Man, this is, uh, I mean, our storm isn't nearly anywhere close to this, but it's, it's pretty decent. Come on, three, log in. Quit fucking around. Excuse you.
March 3rd, 1968. Okay. There he is. Finally. What Audio out. Mean? Error. Is the microphone still broken in station three? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, you can't reply. You should be able to hear you though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. I didn't okay. see anything. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Also, I love how the login okay, password's on a fucking post-it note. <laughs> well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. Okay. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. That's fine. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Says the guy who's like, I can't okay. do any of it. The first one is due to appear in a Dick. minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. Okay. I'm going to get suited up. See, she was helpful. Don't fuck it up. I One's getting on my fucking nerves, dude. Do I hit tab? Okay, I do. What is this? Okay. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. I didn't even read this yet. We have the general modern screen. Just work. This is like half of what I need to read. Okay. There we go. What's this? Oh, I see. It just moves the whole frame. Ah, that's pretty nifty, actually. Okay. Excuse me. Um, so we are the Central Modern Division. Would first like to thank you for agreeing to commit to a year's service your remote monitoring station. The work you do here is of vital importance to national security and like of our great nation. While you may n never receive the explicit gratitude of our citizens, we will always be indebted to you. Operator role. An operator at one of our remote monitoring stations will be responsible for the following duties. I'm going to go fucking blind trying to read this. The daily monitoring specified radio frequencies and the input of test data in a timely manner. In the event of a national security emergency, you will be asked to monitor and input live blank without question or hesitation. Carry out any maintenance needed on site to ensure the continual running of the station should such a situation arise. All interviews should be, oh boy, you're instructed to meet with supply ships and ration food accordingly to endure the station, ensure the station is continually well stocked. In case of blank, your 14th and 15th molar teeth. Okay. Please on any instructions carrying the GCS flag must be dealt with as a matter of urgency. The little rectangle thing they may be able to move left and right. I wonder if that might be zoom. Oh, this here. Oh, no. It's a focus, though. Ah. Can I do this one, too? Oh, motherfucker. Thank you. Oh, that right there. That is much better. Can I just, I can't click and drag. I gotta do this thing. Okay, so there's quite a few fucking pages. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, Joven. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate you, buddy. It's honestly not as to how you were reading that. Um, it hurt. Okay. On receipt of this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got to do fucking <coughs> Linux here. Not really Linux. It's more like, yeah, it looks more like Windows. Sys.executable dash F dash Y dash equals true. Enter. Allocate 330 B. Enter. Output log dash false. Enter. Execute. Input terminal code hitting enter end of each line. Type 
execute to run the program. Well, you actually have to do execute. Okay. Proceed to the callback code. Conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal. Execute. Okay, so I have to do this every time I get new callback code. Good. Good to know. I receive this callback code. Conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminal and execute. This is the same thing. Oh, so okay, so this is another set of commands. And wait a minute. I'm confuzzled. Oh, there's different steps on these. Okay. So I think this is supposed to be, yeah, there's all different steps here, but it depends on where it's, what type it is, I think. There's something at the beginning that was helpful. Yeah, here's another one. Okay. Yeah, another one, another one, another one, and another one. What is this? Oh, this is Morse code. Great. I was not ever very good at Morse code. I like how they crossed everything out here and now it's just numbers. Uh, confusing. Um, alpha phonetics, okay. Different frequencies, all right. Oh, because they give it to you. <coughs> they give it to you in... Um, Morse code, but it's numbers. Then you find the number somehow on the frequency, maybe. That might be close to it. And, oh, we have a flow chart? Okay. So start, signal modulation, USB or LSB. Broadcast frequency, broadcast frequency. Um, and the process, total broadcast numbers, project total numbers, average mode numbers. Um, oh, there's different call signs. Okay. So we'll be able to tell, depending on what frequency it's on, total, either product, total, average, or mode will be an if statement that says, is the total greater than a certain amount? No, it's this call sign. Yes, it's this sign. So we'll be able to tell how many messages are coming in. Okay. Man, this is intense. I'm here for it, though. And then, uh, oh, that's, that's great. E, opens to verbal command, speech, or shout. V, none. M, obeys command for movement, and none. GCS. Okay. That's it. So I'll show you what I was talking about at the beginning. There's a uh, table of contents here. I'll show you really quickly. Right here. Eagle Sigma Abacus Portfolio Kansas Mask Ingenue. Canvas, Whiskey, Landscape, Orange, Centaur, Home, Jennifer, Sacrifice, Drive, Chevron, and Sibling. So these are all different like call signs or something. There's, there's a lot going on here. But uh, okay, we'll just do it the best we can. Okay, transmission broadcast frequency. Input broadcast author authorization key. All codes will be treated as confidential. Don't write down the authorization key in any form. Well, we already did a one. So let's see. If I go to 1930 kilohertz FM, FM. What 1930? Ooh, almost got it. Okay. Shut up. Code word reference, abacus. Test. Okay, so I need to do... System has trace back, code is case sensitive, confidential. Okay, so abacus, we go over here. Abacus is page six. Um, there might be... Oh, wrong way. 
Are there page numbers on here somewhere? I really fucking hope so. Not, oh, the titles are at the fucking top of the page. So we'll do this. We will zoom back in to there. Okay. <clears throat> and now we will go to Abacus. Abacus. Yep, there we go. All right, so this is sys.executable d e. Sys.executable. Dash D dash E. I had it backwards in my head for some reason. Enter. Okay. Allocate. Um, I don't think that's actually a semicolon. I don't know. Allocate 202 dash A. Two oh two dash A. Yep. Output log, and I think it's false. Yep. Enter. I definitely misspelled execute. It said I was supposed to spell it. Okay, that's fine. So I know what this is then. It is a semi a semicolon or a colon rather. And just press it. There we go. Okay, my hey, Arco, thank you, buddy. So I think you did it right. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Alright, so 3500 kilohertz USB. Oop. 3500. Okay, it's good. All right, we're, we got this. Chevron. Um, portfolio, Kansas, mask, new, canvas. I think she, is Chevron like towards the end? Centaur, home, Jennifer, sacrifice, drive. <laughs> Chevron. I receive this callback code. Conversion operators must put the following command lines into the terminal to substitute any dynamic variables and execute. Ref dot init dash w dash z proc begin get dot int x y z where x equals second y equals fifth it's equals sixth number from broadcast code interesting okay oil spill oh i thought this was word relation It's supposed to be ref, not red. I typoed like a dummy. Ref dot in it. Dash w dash c. Proc begin. Get dot in in it. And then I don't know if we're supposed to put these in uh, square brackets or not, but they specifically use square brackets, so. Second, fifth, and sixth. Wait. Broadcast code. What was the broad? Oh. Right. Six, fourteen, zero, one, two. Fuck. Someone write this down. Twenty-six. 
So I think it's going to be a zero for the second one. I need the fifth number. Zero. Fifth and sixth. Yo, Wheeler, what's up? All right, quiet. I'm going to try it with one. I think that might work. If they count 20 as one number, then they're poop heads. Damn it. Okay. So they must count 20 as two different numbers, which I guess doesn't make it doesn't make all that much different sense, so. Um So we need second, fifth, and sixth. Let's try it again. 14 zero. One, two. <coughs> Twenty, six, fourteen, zero, one, two. Okay, six, one, two. Weller, Deller, Wallen, and Dellen. What? What are you fucking on about? X is second, Y is fifth, and Z is sixth. Number from broadcast code. There's exactly six numbers. Unless, of course, the broadcast code is something else that I just don't have. Because that's not a broadcast code. And I'm spelling everything right. Get dot... Oh, it's int. I'm a tard muffin. Guys, you're supposed to catch me on that stuff. Int. Integer as opposed it's not initialize. Whoops. There we go. Transmit. Thanks, Three. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Rookie mistake. Next For real. Coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. Someone write that down. Before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Is it... Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these. I think this lights. particular developer maybe made just this one is it's it's actually in Greenland, but this definitely sounds British to me. Okay. Um We'll go back to the other thing in a second, but let's do this first. I wish I could set this without having to listen to the dumb shit. All right, eleven three twenty. Can I just do? Oh, look at that! Uh, excuse me. What is that? Oh, it's one of you. I was making a joke about your two. Oh, in it. Oh God. Fry, none of that. Please. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Now you've done it. <laughs> you screwed me up, so I kept going the wrong way. 11, 3, 20. Oh, AM. It's a fucking Morse code. Fuck. Ba 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 ba. <clears throat> I'll right, we'll wait for the beginning. Five.
Oh, the ba 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 ba. That's actually a zero. And the ba 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 are, are the short ones. Nine. This is so much. Oh god, it's not zero four five one. I wish I had paper for this. Zero. Nine. Seven. Seven. We'll do zero nine seven seven to start. We'll start again. Yep. Here we go. Three. Zero. Three zero. All right, we made it. Sick. Nah, it's it's not, it's not too bad. I'm figuring it out. It's just it's uh just listening, reading the notes. Ugh. Okay, code word is Kansas. We're alive. Urgent. This is a live scenario. Urgent. This is a live scenario. Wow. So it's not a test. Got it. All right, to Kansas. Oh, I can't fucking see where we're going. Let alone Kansas. Chevron, sacrifice Jennifer, home, center, Kansas, Kansas, where are you, Kansas, not Canvas, Kansas, there it is, okay, 097030, case you need it again, oh, thank you, I received this callback code, conversion operators must input the following command lines into the terminals, for any dynamic variables, and execute, so X and Y, X equals largest number from original broadcast, and Y is smallest number from original broadcast. Hey, thanks, Laser. So nine is the largest, and zero is gonna be the smallest. So we'll do point dot package dot X, nine. Point dot package dot, what is the other part? Point dot package, oh, X, right. And we said nine was the largest. Next one, same exact thing, but then lowest, which is zero. So I can just pretty much copy that down. Oh, whoops. As I completely fucked that up. This is why you use a clipboard. Um, I just don't think there's a clipboard in this game. Just my guess. Sal-A-4G, why not 5G, bro? Oops. No. Sal dash A dash four G. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna be pulling something like that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah! Look at that. First try. Okay, one. We're done. Nothing has happened. Really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just oh. checked the roster and we were Good luck, Fry. Hopefully, hopefully it's easy. Three days ago. But I've had nothing. <laughs> Thanks, no Fry. Take your time. Either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. <laughs> I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. We'll work our way up slowly. One more time.
我。What the fuck? Did you just hear that? The epidemic has traveled across the Atlantic, but it's matches an anomaly. Three. Eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Yeah, I got it. Is there a specific the actual specific number I have to get to? You can't hear the radio from here? That's the wrong way. Come on, redo it. How do I fucking like hit like, how do I tell her? Three. Eight to eight and a half thousand FM. Do it. I did. Is this not what we need? They have been sighted, connecting to central population centers and beginning what is being described as That sounded bad. I cannot, cannot understand what they're saying. That's not English. Does anyone read? Oh. This is Clive S. 20F. Do you read me? Oh my god, that them. Stress signal from supply vessel two zero F. God, the, the other thing sounded scarier. Is anyone there? I can't respond. My my mic's dead. We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but the storm or them have messed with our GPS. And them. What on earth is he talking about? We're hold up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. What the fuck? Everyone's gone there now. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but uh, I can see them coming. Be you can ready. see them coming? All of you. It's 20 F out. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, two. Three, do the same. Yep. Okay. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. Just, just they're here. Ah! Who are they? Lock the door first. We can discuss Check after. One, there's another GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Okay, lock my fucking yes. door first. As long as the GCS number is going up. Hey. We're hey, helping hey, a lot. hey. 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 It was three People last lock time. the door. How do I get out of here? What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. Okay. Um, LSB 6970. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Alright. Uh, this is phonetics, this will be fine. Light. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Light. Mike. Zulu. Zulu. Sierra. Sierra. Hotel. Hotel. Bravo. Bravo. Echo. Echo. Oh, that's supposed to be that in numbers. Okay. No, shut up, you. MZ. All right, so this one we have to go all the way to the end again. This should be um, something on the phonetics. Right here. Yeah, see? 
phonetic language. Yeah, we, so we got that right. And Sierra is S, right? Yeah. S, Sierra, like Sierra Mist. Foodylicious, welcome in. Yo, Zonum, thank you for the lurk, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I think you need numbers. Yeah, exactly. So there should be a chart here, which there is. The frequency is 6970. 6970 is this column here and here, depending on... Next, can I make this a little bit more less gross? Fuck. There we go. Okay, this will work. Um, so, okay, the first number or letter is M. So M is right here. Go to 6970. That's 15. And we'll just replace them one by one so we don't lose our place. 15. Z is a 2. 2. 6970. Yep. Z is a 2. You have questions? They know all about army stuff. Do they really swallow bananas on TikTok? Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I know the I know phonetics because they use phonetics in um, in storage administration as well. Is this is just a bit, a little bit more extra, and not like so much extra, but extra. So S is twenty one. Um, H. It's 10 under 6970, okay. Okay, now B, B is a four. And E is seven. Let's go. Is this like that game you played with the heart? Yes, it is. Yes, this is the um, this is the next chapter. A little bit extra is my sister trapped in a voodoo doll. Oh no, because I really like this shit. Yeah, this is good. So it's called Stories Untold. There's four different stories. This is the third one. I'm gonna have to get this. Yeah, yeah. So far it's been good. Um, I will warn you, the first episode there's a game breaking bug. If you if you happen to hit it, I won't tell you what it is. I want you to find it on your own because maybe it's just me and my dumb brain that processed certain actions to happen. Um, yeah, it's a sugar be knife, sure bitch. to get through it. Creepy. Thank you so much for the biddies. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, power. If you get caught and you Google what you're what's happening to you, there's a ton of forms that tells you like, oh yeah, it's it's a bug they never fucking fixed. They never went back to fix it. Blah 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 blah. But uh, you can get around it, which is good. Um, okay, so we got in. Code word reference is centaur. So we got to go back. Let's first let's zoom back out, right? Let's uh, well, let's actually do this first. Let's get back to one of these. One of these, please. Okay, and we'll refocus. Okay. Go find Centaur. Oh, there it is. Came here to keep you tabbed up and lurk. Oh, thank you, creepy. Ah. <sighs> I may have to increase the channel points on that. It's getting a little out of hand. <laughs> All right, so there's no variables on this one, so this one's a little bit better. So it's m dot status dash r. Command dot string dash z. Thank you, laser. I dare you. No. Command dot, dot string. Okay. And there's dash Z at the end. Okay. And um, I hit the tab accident. Thank you, laser. Uh, 
Gotta love the hydration. I hit caps lock because I'm a dumbass. Okay. Line three. H dot grid dot big W. H dot grid dot big W. Execute. Let's go. Three. There's something. I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? One, I can see something about three's cabin. Yeah, it's a juggernaut, bitch! Polish, thank you. For never let these people One, make you drink you like they all made me drink. What the fuck? I didn't lock the door. Fuck. What the hell is that? I need to lock the door. I, I need to lock the door. I need on? to lock the door. It's I need to lock me. the door. Shit, it's above me. It's over station 3 2. They're here. What's here? Jesus, one, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, you were blitzed, power. <gasps> oh. Shit. Here's another signal. He just went G -C -S -7 down. GCS7 equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. And I can't read, like, so. The code they're giving me, the GS, the GCS key, it, half of that shit's all blanked out. So I have no idea what it means. All right, so we need to go to USB. We need to get down. We need to get up to eight one fifty. Five. And wait for the toll. One, We're in. Uh, sacrifice is our next one. Oh, that's a little worrisome. Orange. Let's... Guys, are any of you walking around in that store? Four? That's crazy. You'll get yourself killed. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. All right, where's sacrifice is 18? Okay. I think I just passed it. Yep, okay. Sacrifice. All right. So we have three different variables. X is numbers 1, 2, and 3 from the original broadcast. Represents a longitude. 1, 2, and 3. And then 4, 5, and 6. And then authorization went from Appendix C. Three. Interesting. Number station 3. This is station 4. Do not go outside. Okay. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out. I'm not. I got work to do. Uh, can, can I go lock the door, though? Can I... Oh, oops. I clicked off the screen, apparently. <laughs> uh, sacrifice, not ominous at all. Lock the damn door. Dude, I wish I could. I tried too early, and it doesn't let me. <laughs> all right. So we need... Guys, I'm shutting down Station 5 and getting the fuck out of here. They took 6. Station 6 is fucking gone. Those things just ripped it out of the ground. What the fuck? One eight nine. Zero four five. One eight nine. Zero four five. Next one is actuate dot y. We need four five and six. Zero, four, zero, four, five. Okay. I am stressing. Uh, okay. This last one is point dot one. Point dot one. And it's a Z, which is authorization word from Appendix C. Okay. Appendix C. Authorization word. Uh, so start signal modulation. Um, uh, uh, it was uh, uh, USB. Okay. Oh, what if it was the orbs? That'd be crazy. USB, USB, USB. Right here. Broadcast frequency. Uh, I think it was 8150. Yep, 8150. Okay, good, good, good. Process total of broadcast numbers. Was it greater than 30? 
No, it was like there were six of them, right? Oh, tor total broadcast number. So add them all up. Fuck. Okay. One eight nine zero four five. So that's nine and nine is eighteen. Eighteen four is twenty two. Twenty two and five is twenty seven. So no, it's below thirty. So this is no. It's Alexander. Fucking send, 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 send. Let's go. Achievement unlocked. Correct response. Love to see it. Open broadcast. All launch. Three. James, the last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. Fuck. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. No, I'm good. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. No. What the fuck? Yo, there's numbers down there. I can't see anything. Oh, there's there's numbers on the thing. Oh, I'm getting dragged. I'm getting dragged out of the door. Oh god, I can't see shit. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't go back upstairs? Okay. No thanks. <laughs> I feel like I'm on fucking Hoth. Empire Strikes Back. Fuck. They're like, they're here, and I'm like, I can't fucking see shit. Fuck. Just don't want to be followed. I don't know what this is. Some shed, some Connex. Am I really going to have to fix this fucking thing right now? Also, imagine how to consistently shovel this out. This is what Fry's up to right now. Maybe it's a good thing I haven't seen what they're talking about. I like how everything is roped off so I know I can't get lost in the process. Or at least I shouldn't get lost in the process. What is that? Oh, that's just a little... Whew, that's a, a pole of some sort. I thought it was like a little creature standing up there. I got really confused. Another Connex. W4. I can't go in. It won't let me. Nothing there. Oh, the generator. Oh, I was smart. I did a smart thing. I did a smart thing. Uh, here's backup power system. What am I doing here? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, these doors open suddenly now? Nope. There was another place over here. We came from that way, but there's something over here. Who built this station? Um, don't know. Oh, there's another generator. Okay, okay. Still can't go into this place, I bet. Yep, nope. So there's one more generator somewhere. We follow the cables, we'll find it. No cables going back the way we came. The second one is right there. The third... There is no third one. Oh, because there's only two. Did that work? 
What was that noise? Achievement unlocked. Stretch those legs. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I just did, but we need to go back right now. Right now. I can't feel my legs, James. What? Why are you so calm about that? I'm so tired. What? Where are the cars coming from? Fuck. What are you doing? James, please. No, I fixed it. What are you doing? He's coming back. Couldn't get up that hill there for a second. Come on. With, with the fucking Howard Dean shout, perfectly timed. Nice one, Soma. I hear like whispering. He's coming back. Who the fuck is that? Wake up. Captain Clank, what's up? Welcome in. How'd you find us here today? You don't mind me asking. Whatever you say, bud. I'm just going back and I'm going to go back to work. James, go to them. Tell them what happened. Oh, I plan on it. Fuck. Welcome back. Wait. Did you all see that? I opened the door. That wasn't my office I was just in. That's the computer from the first episode. One of your friends told me about my about the stream? Oh. Which one of your friends, if you don't mind me asking? You can tell my like the Twitch name. If you don't know it, that's fine. But anyways, happy to have you. If you haven't followed, I think everyone in the chat would recommend it. Because uh, uh, we, we, uh, we're we here three nights a week. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, Monday and Thursday. And then 10 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Truck driver. Truck driver. Hmm. I don't know. But this is crazy. They said Mr. Asian too. They've used that name before in this. And I think it was during the lab conduct, but I can't be entirely sure. Just started streaming yesterday. Oh, welcome to the party. All right. I think we are ready to jump into the last session. Um, the station process. That one was fun. It's a little bit of thinking, lots of listening, some reading and understanding. Um, but that got really creepy towards the end. Holy shit. What was the name of the guy you were in the lab chapter? Exactly. It's almost like, I think you were on some laser. I think this all has to do with the orbs. But then what does the first one have to do with anything? Just that random game. But then again, we've now wrapped it over where we walked in and we saw this exact room for episode one as we ended episode three. So the last session. So I wonder if this is, we're in some type of therapy. And this is our brain like putting through different traumas or some of some sort interesting let's wrap this shit up huh boy oh boy there it is Hell yeah. I think that's enough of that for now. What? Wow. You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? I am, actually. It was very rude. I was driving to that okay, music. Come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Oh my god. 
yeah, we're uh, we're in a uh, psychiatric hospital, and that's why we like that song so much because it's on TV all the time. Bro, what? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. We're a little confused. Try and get you out of here eventually. Under stress? Right now, yeah. I'm just in here. Time to quit. Help is here. Can we turn a light on in here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. You won't even sit across from the table from me? That's, that's great. Yeah, it's really fucking nice. Who's gonna press record on this, huh? Huh? Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Sure. Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. You do fucking everything around here. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient. Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. Oh. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Oh. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Hypnotize me, dog. What's this? Your mind. It's like a conscious black box. So, oh my god. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Are we imagine? Oh, we have to imagine. The blood in the background. What the f Fuck, dude. Jesus. Oh my god, we're back. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. Yep. You were isolated from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you. Central days. operations message authentication, coma. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything oh. you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610FM. You can't miss it. Can't miss it. Okay, then. We're back. Five, six, ten. Wait till the restart. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F 12 19 86 23 04. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. All right, report. I go the right. What the fuck is this? Oh shit. That says fatal accident. For vehicles, too. Pleasant Hill Forest Road. 20F fatal accident. That's the 20. That's why 20F keeps getting reported. Injured one. James Asian. Station wagon white. That's my plate number. They 
block uh they blocked out the passenger information. Who is the passenger? There was a passenger with me? Doesn't say injured or deceased. What the fuck? Charles Hennings, deceased. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that have been involved in a near head-on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle in the passenger seat. Bro, we got hit by a fucking drunk driver. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. Oh. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-officer of 20 years. Ex-police officer of 20 years. Holy shit, dude. That's it. So there's something I have to find on this report. Oh, it's all the uh, things they've circled, I think. 20F-Fatal Accident. And the second thing they circled was Empty Whiskey. This also has to be all capitalized. I'm a dummy. So it's going to fail, but that's fine. Uh, and then out of control. It does say it, ha it is case sensitive, so that does matter. Yep. Yep. Got it. Nailed it. Maybe that's the passenger. Oh, yeah. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. <sighs> 7,000 FM. guy. He's got something to hide. I have, I don't have anything to hide. What the fuck are you talking about? I was just driving. This doesn't make sense to you. No, it doesn't. What the fuck is this? You step out into the hospital ward only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. I'd say so. This is where I just... This is where I am. What the fuck? Driving. Oh, that's essential. The DUI stuff. Uh huh. You tense up. Someone else is here. You don't fucking say. Can I crouch? Nope. I'm fucked. That's locked. We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be here. What, what could I have possibly done? If she was trapped in the car and we needed emergency services to get her out. Like, what the fuck? That's bullshit. What key is that? It weigh heavy in your hand. Okay. Hey, heavy hand swings. Today was the first session with Mr. James Asian. 
Um, what happened? I clicked out. Sorry. Although I fear it will certainly. There are lots of. Okay. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction. Oh no. Until there's a story about a computer game. Oh. I was talking to him. Uh, it did happen. I think he was back at his own house. His mum and dad's house. Hard compilation. Trash. Unbelievable. One he couldn't get in. Greenland. I don't know what any of this means. Or the house the abandoned. Answers, but I guess uh, some more sessions or maybe. Number puzzles. Reveal that. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Shit. Yeah, I'm just. I think I'm just so far gone. I'm making all this up. Look at a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why there's no detail here. Or this is me reliving showing up here remembering something I don't know what was in here waiting area is dark but you feel a presence right behind you fucking where box more locked doors like you can't go somewhere you've never been Right, but I don't know where I've been, so I gotta try. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. Please stop. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Oh. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. What the fuck? I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to ten and give me one hundred jewels. What do they use that for then? Is it just an X-ray machine? Is that the whole point? Come on, hundred jewels. Charge amp full to ten. Wait, amps. Come on. Is that amps? I don't remember this. I don't remember. Oh, charge, yeah. Um, that's the frequency, that's not right. Can we get this on the screen, please? Oh, sure. Fuck. Oh, thank you, Captain Clank. Sorry, I'm just, I'm like, trying to figure this out, everybody. Sometimes you do things, sometimes those things are wrong. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out of the car, get out, get out of the car, get out, get out. Keep going, you have to. Remember what they said? Oh, read what they said, yep. Give up, a coward. Wow, breathe. I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Bro, what are we doing? Am I turning every... Oh. Forgot about the camera. I have trouble keeping up with this game. It's, uh... It's very interesting. I think you, it's it, probably something you probably should have said at the beginning. Uh, X-ray data. Okay, let's turn this back on. How do I send the X-ray data? Jewels, charging up full to ten. Hundred jewels. It's not let me do anything here. Oh. That's in jewels. They changed it. Okay. Okay. 
can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Bro, it's on this. It's waiting x-ray data. Turn the blue thing and put it to 100 and then 10 amps, right? Yeah, I got 10 over here. This orange thing doesn't do anything. I'm pressing all sorts of different things. And it's not doing shit. So that's not helping. Drill won't do anything. Charge it up fresh now, maybe? I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. No. Should I look at the camera while I do it? No. Fucking send it. The fuck? <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen. So there's really nothing else no. I can do in terms of help here. There's nothing plugged in here. I remember the sync master button was important. The only, the only thing there's none is that and then that. Still nothing. We started again. Fresh one. I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Bro, I'd love to. I look down, click far to the right, far to the left. Fuck. Me to look up a help on this one, cause. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Get a hundred jewels. I don't think the wave really matters because it's in jewels. Um, the X-ray, like power thing, is on. It's not making me furious. I'm just trying to figure out what am I missing here because they're not really being descriptive. I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Yeah, I would love to get on the screen for you, bud, but I don't really know what you want. Is it this? It's not IR. It's not R3. Yeah, I may need to look it up, because this is not working. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. I mean, you can say other things too. Hundred joules or up to ten amps. This thing doesn't do anything. Literally nothing. <laughs> The drill doesn't even actually turn on, it just switches on. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Alright. I think I will take a quick look and see if we can figure it out. No worries. Um last session walkthrough. Yeah, so the last session. The final episode used a combination of all gaming games from the earlier episodes. Fine. Yeah, the transmission. Camera and TV unit. Turn the signal generator set to 100 joules. Turn on the amp set to 10. Press the big green button on the sync master. Okay, so there's definitely something that's uh, screwy Louie here. Or it's because I put too many things on. I don't know. But uh, I think I could give it another shot. I can't see what okay. I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. So turn on the camera. And the TV unit. 
as if it's just here. Turn on the signal generator. Set to 100J. Turn on the amp set to 10. Now it went on. I think it's because I turned something else on. Clear. Okay. So there was, I did something out of turn. First stage. Let's try higher. Try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge at 10. Okay. Up to 200 we go. 200 joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. I'm going. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Okay. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Are you sure? I, mean, I guess it's... Come on, 360, hurry. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. That's not full. Oh, that's too much, that's too much. I said full charge as if there was more... Seems we have a pulse. It seems we have a pulse. Wow. Stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Okay. So, let's run the x-ray. Crank that on. Where are we with that x-ray? Dude, let's it's get it going now, please. fucking coming. Shut up. I don't think we need this shit. Yep, okay. So you have to shut things off. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. Ooh. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Yikes. Switch on a drill, please. The drill, please. Bro, I turned it on. Oh, true. Camera off. Nope. Can we get this on the screen, please? Ah, oh, I had to go back to R3. Okay. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. And it just dropped into a coma. Oh god. What the fuck? Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six-month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. <laughs> Soma. Um, what are the special words here that I used? I don't remember. Was it, look, oh, look around. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mom and Dad. There's a door to the hall. Go to hall. Push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, although the party is friendly downstairs. Look around. <coughs> Same as ever. Stairs, door to the living room, door to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. The other best parties are in the kitchen. This is true. The kitchen's full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party's in full swing. Dad's cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Eat the hog roast. Maybe later. <laughs> There's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jenna's here signaling you. Read writing on the wall. Oop. 
Happy New Year, 1986, another banner. Weird place to hang it. Okay, go to Jennifer. You push through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug, you're gonna miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. I am enjoying the party. She repeats her question, asking if you've had a nice time. Yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Get her a drink. You pour in a drink and one for yourself, too. Nice. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. Yes. You have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. That's not true. Another hug. Your family have really gone out their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective, but maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Press enter to continue. Jenna's disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. Drink. You pour down another drink. Anything to move the night along. Okay, look around. The room is full. There's a utility room writing on the wall. Go to utility room. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here. Normally, this is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskey, ceiling to floor racks. Collector, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Read card. Pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Yikes. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around about you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Thank dad for whiskey. Look around. There are racks of fine wines in the door to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. You head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. <laughs> Double out of the utility room, back into the kitchen. There's one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. <laughs> um, go to Dad. I'm sorry, I don't want to Thank Dad. He tells you he is proud of you. And to go easy tonight, early flight tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, Dad. Look around. Busy and noisy. We'll need to find somewhere quieter. Uh, leave room. You go back to the hallway. Okay. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen covered in blood. Talk to Jen. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Jen? Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Jen? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Talk to Jen. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Leave. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Look around. Jen? I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. Wait, what? No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. Oh. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. You no. can't talk to her. She did. arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. Okay, yes, yeah, so this I is me. To see him. Oh! Wow. Goddamn, Mom. You're standing in the hallway. Something had stopped you in your tracks while searching your mind. Your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Oh no. The guy who hits us when we leave this party was shit faced and he died, killed our sister, and put us into a coma for two weeks. 
However, we were also not in a good place. Leave room. Need to tell me which room you want to go to. We look around. Can I stop this from happening? Doors to the kitchen, living room, lead from here while stairs can take you up. Go upstairs. Maybe I can stop this from happening. You love to call it a night, but Jen is waiting patiently. Damn it. Talk to Jen. Yeah, yeah, we could talk in the car. Go get your keys. Where are my keys? Um, can I do it now? You love to call it. Okay, no. Uh, go to living room? You sure your keys are in the living room? The room has a much more relaxed atmosphere. Created the kitchen, various guests sat in the chairs, having civilized conversations. Coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drink cabinet. Talk to mom. <laughs> I know what you're trying to use. Uh, my mouth? Find keys. Look around. Coffee table, drinks cabinet, one of the chairs overflowing with jackets and coats. Uh, look at coffee table. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't remember what the other options were. Drinks cabinet. Look in drinks cabinet. Your mom's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys in here. Okay. Uh, check jackets for keys. Check chair for keys. Check chair. Talk to mom. I just stared. Just. Oh, what? I just. Oh, I used four starred life by Devin Song. It's, it's such a bop. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, dude. Nice. I'm proud of you. Search for keys. It must be either in the kitchen or the living room. Go to kitchen. Oh, wait. Leave. Okay. Standing back in the hallway, a bottle of whiskey in hand, but no car keys. Jen points the living room in size as she puts on her coat. All right, so it was in the living room. <laughs> Go to living room. You sure your keys are in the living room? Okay, that's what it said before. I love Devin Townsend. Now such an amazing artist. Do fact. Ask mom for keys. Fuck. Go to chair. You told me there's a fucking chair. Go to jackets. Go to overflowing chair. Check coat. Nope. Ask for keys. Look for keys. And if I try to leave, she points me back to the living room. Uh, God damn. <sighs> Talk to guests? No. And what did the coffee table say again? Look at coffee table. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Okay. Move coasters. Move drinks. Clear coffee table. Piss on the floor. <laughs> um, fuck it. I'm going to go look.
Yeah, it says look at the coats. I knew it. You said it too. Look at coats. Oh, come on. We said check coats. You search through all the jags and coats till you find yours. Aha, car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Uh, leave. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen, thanks for helping her out. She is at work in the morning, and no one else is in any fit state to drive. You can handle it, though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Leave. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold... The cold air hits you. You are glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits at the front of the house. Go to car. You fumble with the key car handle, confused till Jen tells you to maybe use the key to, in your hands. Unlock car. <laughs> car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the car. Club box hands you a note and key that was inside. It says this for when you return. Read note. It's notice from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic view. It's in your room. Enjoy. Holy fuck. That's the note we find at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> the car is free. Oh, God. And the key is to get into the house. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, fasten seat belt. I'm trying to understand. Of course you don't. Start car. You try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower just by holding keys in your hand. Oh. Put keys in ignition. <laughs> Takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. Turn key. God, this fucking game. You turn the key in ignition and the car whirs to life. Drive. Car squeals, but stays stationary. Jensen just releasing the brake. Release emergency brake. You very hesitantly release the handbrake or handbrake, whatever, same thing. Uh, drive. You put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like a first-time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. It shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. This could be important. Let's just stay to the right. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go right. You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen for directions. Ask Jen for directions. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. Fuck. Can we just take three rights? Isn't that the same thing? Go left. Take the car up to the junction and accelerate off. Comment that you are on the right road now. You loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen steps up in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow. Like slow motion. Turn. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights emerge with your car. The outside joins the inside. The whole James, world around you begins to scream. James! Oh, shit. Is, is there a mod in here that can get that? I will accept that in a second. Jen is a bitch. What's up, sugar? Yourself. Holy fuck. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. What? You wake up in the car, your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in the seat. An impact into another car is torn a hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engines. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Leave. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. Unbuckle. Unfasten. Remove seatbelt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump onto the roof of the car. Because the fucking orb is pissed. Alvin and Alvin have not heard a single bad song. It's pretty straightforward. 
uh, on uh, re remove gen seatbelt. You have already taken off your seatbelt. It saved your life. Okay. Exit car. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car smashes the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Hide whiskey. Well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? You'll eventually find it and they will link it to you. You <gasps> <laughs> so cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. Oh my god. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look around. Red and blue flashing lights are causing the pain in you, in, in your head, to be all the more severe. I hit the wrong button by accident. Red and blue flashing lights are causing the pain in your head to be all the more severe. Close eyes. Sorry, you are not making any sense, okay? Um, help. Fuck. Uh, sugar, how you doing? How you been? Oh, fuck, I'm just trying to think about... Uh, uh, talk to... Silhouette. You try to talk, but... You are not making any sense. Oh, because I'm fucking hammered. Fry. I don't know what to do. Cover eyes. Like, what do I... Can't do anything with him. Vomit. <laughs> Sadly, no. Talk to figure. Oh, okay. Um, walk towards figure. Oh, true. Look at Jen. The lights are overwhelming. All other details are fading into the past. Get Jen out of car. Fuck. I may have to, you know what? I may have to look again, but I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Look at, I don't want to look at the whiskey. Look at blue car. Grab head. Rub temples. Grab penis. <laughs> Look at people, true. Do a good find getting the hang of Bloodborne, getting a little less wrecked. Nice. Lights are overwhelming. Uh, look away from lights. What the fuck? What was that? You see visions of your sisters, you look into the pulsating lights. What the fuck? Look away from lights. You see visions of your sister as you look into the pulsing lights. Look at sister. The lights are overwhelming. All the details fading into the past. Fuck. Look at Jen. Nope. Watch vision, yeah. Look at vision. Fuck. Uh, 
like i don't know if i actually progressed to a certain point and it's good that we made, it made things different here with the lights i don't know pass yeah pass out sounds good sorry you're not making any sense well neither are you all right Oh, it says go to the silhouette. I think I said walk towards or something. Go to silhouette. As you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer. While the pain in your head increases, you fall to the ground at his feet. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. Oh my god. What the fuck? You did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. I'm trying. It was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Tell them. I will, I'm sorry. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what Listen really happens. It has to end, James. Am I pressing something here? Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions. Okay. Do you not understand? All of your episodes are recorded to tape. This is the fourth. This episode you're having must come to an end. Maybe there's a tape somewhere I need to get. They make you watch. <laughs> make it stop. Make it stop. You remember. There has to be a tape somewhere stop and I just missed session, it. Mr. Asian. I don't know how. Go back to where we started. Where we started? That was over in the room where I was just in. Put an end to this nightmare. You can do this, James. You can let go. Oh, I had to hit play. Or something. I don't know. I thought I pressed all the buttons. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Haitian. Uh -huh. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on. Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. Holy fuck. Press play for that awesome song, please. There we go. Roll credits. Yo. What a fucking trip. That game was fucking wild. Like, definitely more sci-fi than horror. Definitely some horror elements in there. Um, in, in terror, but... It's, yeah, they, they, oh, that was so good. Excuse me. I really like how they did that. How they, I thought it was just four unrelated stories. Because the, the first one was like this one thing. Okay. Second one was a completely different thing. 
And then the third one was a whole different thing. And then started combing pieces together from the first two. And you're like, wait, what? And then the fourth one is just wrapping it all together. GG for completion. Thank you. Thank you for the GGs. Game nuts. For your support, advice, and love. My name's not on there. Story was cool. Gameplay was meh. Yeah, there was um, there were some moments where I was kind of like, hmm, like they, some things they made very easy to understand and read and, and comprehend, and other things they could have expanded on in a couple different pieces. But for like a click and point adventure game, that fucking ruled. Achievement unlocked. Stories told. What did I get? All of this achievements? No, I didn't. The stories told get all other achievements. There's three hidden that I don't have. So don't know what happened there. Anywho. Uh so that was Stories Untold. Pretty good. I would say it's a pretty solid game. I think the story. The story and the structure and the way they told the story um, made up for the moments of gameplay where I was either like, huh? Or that the bug in the first level was so corny. Um, if they went back and like tight-knitted those things up, it'd be a very, very good game. Um, but yeah, uh, I would totally recommend the game. Um, let me see what it what it's running for cost right now. Let's see. Um, stories untold. Ten dollars, and if you want the official soundtrack, it's a dollar ninety nine. It's a four track soundtrack. So the stories untold, the intro music, we move together in unison. You could do this in your sleep and utterly consumed by it. Some guy recommend he goes recommended John Carpentery Stranger Things flavored goodness yeah seems like they got a uh, it's rated right oh it's only eight user reviews wow I only see six here oh get rid of that there's a random filter that doesn't mean anything oh because it's probably not in English okay. Recommended, 7.5. Very the thingish. Rare case, I don't recommend a game, but appreciate it. It's OST. So they recommended it for the oh, for the original soundtrack. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm only looking at the fucking soundtrack. I'm so dumb. Why do I do this? Why am I like this? This game hurts me so much because it just has so much potential. Yeah, they definitely they didn't go back and they didn't do things that they should have done afterwards. Um, and I think they moved on to other projects, which is kind of shitty. But but it has a, all reviews, very positive, 3,480. Recent reviews, very positive, 41. And that's... Uh, not, so recently, 95% of the 41 news reviews in the last 30 days are positive. Overall... 87% say it's good. And I'd say that's pretty fair. It's a B plus game. If they t if they fix some of the small things and streamline the, not puzzles, but how to progress forward, I think it'd be a lot better. It, it'd be an easy uh, 9 out of 10 for me. But I think a 8.5 or a little bit higher than 8.5, but definitely below a 9. Cool. So I'll worry about that later. Oh. God damn it. I'm going to readjust my headset. It was like smushing down on the button on the top of my hat. Um, oh, let me go back and take care of that auto mod shit. There we go. God damn it, Soma. Uh, 
Anywho, so um, I made the call that we are going to uh, move on to the sequel of Remothered Tormented Fathers. Moving on to the Remothered Broken Porcelain. Um, I heard this game was much different from the first one, um, and a lot of people were not big on it. Some people enjoy it. I've literally, from everyone I've asked, they've been very 50 50 on it. <laughs> Fucking heavy just went full screen zoom on his stream just doing this. <laughs> What a fucking guy. All right. And I'm just getting this game set up over here. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. Standard. Yep. Control. Oh, oh, confirm. Alright, I'll worry about the controls later, I think. We have a tutorial on, so that's fine. Quick time events difficulty you can change. That's pretty cool. Interaction hotspots? What's that? Maybe to tell me where the interactions are going to be. That make me a little bit easier. There's some interesting commands here. I saw a YouTube of Devin live. They're really good live, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've seen them quite a few times. Audio is all right there. Language is English. Subtitles, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and update my stuff. All right, so that worked. Boom, boom, bottom. Can we get back to a different song? We'll put another album on. There we go. Um, yeah, give me one second. I just got to add in the game audio. I, that should be good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to update the title really quick. Or the, not the title, the uh, category. We're playing Remothered Broken Porcelain. Done. We have updated. We are good to go. Join me, please. Okay. Sure, let's get a recap for those that didn't see what the uh, first game was like. Oh, do you want me to start? From the beginning. In time for beer two. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa like to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. 
Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Phenoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? Fallen. All right, and uh, our last drink of the evening is the Boris from Bent Water. It's a peanut butter and chocolate milk stout. Right there. Delicious. Oh, that is good. This must be Celeste. I mean, I can only assume, and I'm probably wrong. All right, it's time. The sequel. Or maybe part two. Who knows how many parts there's supposed to be for this story? It seems like it's going to be episodic. <laughs> whistle. Whistle while you work. Are you suffering from a broken heart? Or are you a survivor of abuse? A war veteran? You must be suffering from post-traumatic stress. Disorder. We have the solution to your problem. Phenoxil. It isolates and removes your torment, be it an old traumatic event or a bad memory. Every time the waitress brings you food, and she goes, Enjoy your dinner. You too. Phenoxil for dessert. Ooh. Monsters! Explore the area. Explore the. Okay. So we actually play as this girl. You can't erase memories forever. It would be like erasing time itself. For sure. Memories and time go in. Great. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers, or a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings, two opposing perceptions what is all this? <laughs> overlapping and threatening one another, to the detriment of the one Ammonia true, bottle? now okay. shattered, the so-called Oh, the metronome. Memory. Boy. There's really nothing around here. Oh, fuck me! What the fuck? What is that? What is that? What the fuck? How do I fucking get out? Oh no. Where do I go? Right here? No, I'm I'm stuck. Help. I can't go in that way. Um 
this way. Oh, what's this? Oh, let's stop and look at the milk carton. That's important. Oh. I can't move. I literally can't move. Literally can't move. Literally can't move. Oh, that's supposed to happen. Got it. <clears throat> so hopefully that's not Celeste, because she's dead. <laughs> I'm like, where am I supposed to fucking go? Oh, there's actually an auto save in this one. Interesting. And are you really suggesting that all this time, these people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite, the moths that were carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret, making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just for this drug? The phenoxyl, the farm, the moths, the hypnosis, and all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. Mm -hmm. The most dangerous of any kind. <laughs> I suppose. The only way to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves and to move on. Richard Felton, Ariana Gallo, Professor Wyman. The Ashman sons, Stefano and Gloria Ashman, they all made a choice. And so did I. So you chose to forget. For 49 years, I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced. Like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. It is there, and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Okay. Nineteen seventy three. Yes. Hello. Who is this? Mr. Ashman. Andrea. The girl is here. Shall I let her in? <laughs> okay, so I'm not dead. Go on. Sit down. But my you know why you're broken. here, young lady, don't you? No. Could have fucking enlightened me, dickhead. I guess I'll just walk around. You know, someone fucking stabbed me, but somehow I go, just my uh, my arm's broken. That's what it was. Yeah, I fell down the stairs. Yeah. I can't run. All right, I don't think there's anything around here that's exceptionally important. So I guess I'll just go and sit. Here we go. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. 
Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems Wait, you are Jennifer. a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! Is this supposed to be Felton uh, when, he, well. when he was still a young we girl? We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do it's 73, your best. Though. No. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then... You are under my care, and you will do as I say. Oh, okay. Run along now. So who the fuck broke my arm? Last time I checked, I got chased by a dude in a porcelain oh, mask. and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. I don't know who Lindsay is. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. Wow, that's interesting. You may leave. So, I apparently caused this Lindsay person some great deal of trouble, but I'm not the one the being sent. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like Gee. all those who grow old. And I'm sure the mourning sped up the process. Mourning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns died in that fire. <sighs> Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. No, she Terrible. didn't. They had oh, contracted shit. some sort of disease. They practically went blind. They had gone no, mad. No, 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 no. Sure as hell didn't help Who's nodding in my chat? Girl. She was locked up Spore. in there by her own parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. Well, that's what the room you just came out of there. But that also said, that said 212. I, oh, no, 212 is the right one, right? Did Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. Damn. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. Oh, God. Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. Lord have mercy, I'm about to if bust. Me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her Terrible instead, timing. Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been Thank for the bits either way. Daddy, sweetheart. Okay. And that's the dude we fucking have to live with here. Do I, do I work for him? What is this? Ooh, hold up, hold up. Make the most out of items. You can combine items to get more powerful tools. Open inventory with I and select crafting. <coughs> not, no, not, no, not. Okay. Not, no, not, no, not, not, not. Diversion items, defensive items, and craftable items. Can't make shit. Let's try another one. Did that make anything? No. Okay, well, let's keep moving our way around. Ooh, nope. I figured I'd have some fucking cable or something. <laughs> Stop whistling, please. Not a fan of it. No cable, only static porn channel. Yeah, though the green wavy lines? Absolutely. Is this a one-way mirror? Yep. 
fuck, that's gross. Oh, God. Yes! Fucking hell, then you scared me! <laughs> Ever heard of knocking? No way. Did it so last year. Jesus. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. Oh, so this is so Lynn. This must be Lindsay. So she's getting. <laughs> Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? Can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying that bitch not to had her teeth kicked in doing that Keep shit. Reminding <laughs> me. I didn't mean to. It was only an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty yes, I feel? Welcome back, creepy. Creepy's back. Please. Spore's back. I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. Yes, I just started it. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're you're going to let me speak. Don't Go break your other arm. Just please open the fucking door. The, 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 the door. Oh. Fuck you, Lynn. Fuck you. I'm you were just loyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. I beg you. She's gonna be going away. They said next uh, next week or so they're gonna yank her out of there, send her somewhere else. T -t -t Today, Junior. <laughs> wow. Huh? What the hell is going on? Oh, I don't like hiding in there. Nope. Ammonia bottle. Fuck's sakes. Ha! Got him. Insecticide. I get the one lower. There we go. Nothing. Okay, up here. Oh my god, Jen, you look like hell today. Wow, that's aggressive. Screwdriver. Moth key. This is just one of those bad days. All right, maybe I have to craft something. <clears throat> this makes... Stun and damage the enemy for some time. Okay. Now we have an ammonia bottle. Sick. And a defensive item. Screwdriver. Okay. But uh, how do I get out of here? Okay. Cool. Lynn? Reach the lobby? I don't like that. Damn. It's locked. Oh god, yeah, it's <laughs> Fuck. How did he get in there though is the question. The hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then I will only see the same ugly old Hide in the pieces. toilet. Gross. Uh it's just to get to a mountain but yeah, it's just a brochure for a bit. What's that? What does it mean? If this is a joke, I don't like it at all in. Go away. Well, I said the same thing, so...
reach the lobby. Okay, I have to go back this way. Raining over here and it's what? messing up with my Wi Fi. No! It's snowing here. Actually, my. It may have stopped by now, actually. <coughs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Investigate reached the lobby. Alright, we did it. Baller Andrea. So I can't. So she locked me in the fucking lo uh, outside the lobby. So wherever the hell she is. What, uh, what are you eating? Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? I don't understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What the hell does Acarantia mean? Failed test, uncontrollable Acarantia proliferation. It was eating it alive. <laughs> okay. To you. The poor crow. You know, I am one man once upon a time. <laughs> You're hurting me. What it's the part fuck? Of all of us. And we are all part of the same thing. Oh my fuck. I think I got in there. Fuck. It's rare for the snow in my town last so it was three years. Oh god. Where are you? Fucking out of here, bitch. Holy shit. We were cool just a fucking second ago. She doesn't have a purse to slow her down. <laughs> What's up, Fry? Welcome back in. Hope shoveling wasn't too bad. She's actively unlocking doors. First off, it's awesome. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where have I ended up? But second... Is that she's unlocked? She's she, if she's looking for me in those areas, the doors were locked. What were you thinking? Why did you think that was a good idea? I could still do that. Okay, cool. Mechan oh, I can actually move this time. All right, so that mechanic still works. Um, was it V? That yeah, same thing. Okay. Alright, so this feels like the first game. Girls, dun, 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 dun. all I really want is girls, dun, 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 dun. cause in the morning it's girls. Dun, 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 dun. Back in the day, do 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 do. I'm so tired of all this. I just want a break from it all. It's the same thing that Felton would say. Kind of repeated the lines, it sounds like. What's that? A shovel. Yo, bro, there's a lot of fucking defensive weapons around here. Building anything to shovel? Oh, good. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably get to wake up early tomorrow and handle that. At least that's my plan. Not too much, but just got to get it, get it all off the deck. A little part of the driveway and, uh... Throw down some salt. We're good. Uh, nothing else in there that's important. A 
Andrea is the only one to have keys to all the locked rooms. I have to find a way to get her to open this door. Oh, if I go to the kitchen, Eliza will help me. That's a good point. I can go back in there, but there's no point right now. I don't work with crybabies. Yeah, I wanted the car ready to go, for sure. Can I grab the shotgun? Like the right, whatever the fuck, yeah. I'm so tired of all this. Where is she? Kirillin? Whatever that is. Bottle. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. Screwdriver. Oop. Yeah, I better not stomp around. What's that? A knife. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. Portable radio? Okay, cool. Oops, is it loud? So, yeah, this is very similar to the first game. I'd rather the ammonia bottle. Right this way, what do we got here? Like a butter knife. Oh, here we go. Stealth, be sure to not get hurt. Even when looking at something else, stalkers can notice you by the noise you make. Crouch and walk to make sure not to be heard. Sometimes stalkers won't be alone. Beware of everything that can hear you and put your enemy on your track. Okay. Around the house. What the hell is going on with I me? This is all so here, surreal. Working my ass off. Ooh, I can't go through those. Sick. What's... Oh, I thought that was something I could do. Girls. Filthy girls. I have no idea that Andrew was this trouble. Have they completed their chores? Lord, help me, I beg you, help me. Why have you abandoned me? The doctors aren't able to help me. It's inside my head. The migraines can last for days at a time. I end up doing things that I don't want to do. Bad things, very bad things. I find myself wandering without knowing what I was doing or where I was going. I find myself drenched in blood, weak, armed. I see moths surrounding me and lifting me. I feel like I'm constantly repeating the same day Gross. over and over with no way out. Andrea Massino. Oh, boy. That's not good. Baby doll. Yeah, keep doing your thing. I'm busy over here. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. Yeah. Uh oh. Tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. Cut. Bottle. Okay. Nothing there. Staff only. No trespassing. Okay, it's locked. Okay, I can go into a bottle. Uh, screwdriver. Was this door accessible? No. Okay. So there's only one door I can really go through then. Told Ashman, which is to cinema to room? Okay, I guess. Mephistopheles. I've Faust. Oh, it's a music box. 
uh, butter knife, bottle. Shit, there's so much stuff. That's why it's so difficult in the first game to like progress. All you're doing is finding more defensive weapons and whatnot. You're not finding like keys or anything. Talk. Talk. Oh, this is the save game spot. Hold to restore life just like the last game, too. <laughs> okay, let's save the game. I don't want that. Give me that. <laughs> and I want to turn on sound by accident. Oh, I can hop that? That's good to know. I can grab that bottle, I bet. Yep. Okay. What's this? Paper knife. God damn it. It got me. I thought it was a, a book or note on the table. Uh, that is... Moth key. Oh yeah, what do those go to again? I don't know what they're supposed to go to. Maybe they're little collectibles or some shit. What's that? Hello? Oh. Bottle. Okay. There's going to be a combination somewhere. Because I've seen... I saw another number somewhere. It may have been a six, if I recall. The bottle instead. Thank you. Let's go through here. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Nice. We're already this far. Making great progress. As long as she's just in there doing her thing on her sewing kit. Like, I, she's sitting there chasing me around and I'm just like, no, leave me alone. Like, I'm gonna go hide. Yeah, okay, that's right. I'm gonna go sew. I'm a seamstress. God damn it, doing this again. Here we go. That door's locked. What's this? Oh, fuck, it's the nuns. <sighs> I better not see another goddamn nun in this game. Cinema room. Hey, I found it. Let's see what we got here. What's that? Flower pack. Oh, yeah. What can I craft here? I can craft one of those, which is starting to damage the enemy for some time. Oh, that's what all these do. Blind enemy for a little bit. Interesting. I'm all full, though, on items, so there's no point in doing that. All right, that was blocked. Was there something else there? What's that? Oh, it's here. Okay. Uh, all right, so I can't go into there. All right. That's a knife. This door should have been locked, I'm pretty certain. Yep. Well, through all those... This is the door I came through. Yep. This door. Ooh. What's this? Laundry room? Okay. Screwdriver. You go underneath that. <laughs> that fucking got me. Stoma, what what's up? is going on with you, Andrea? I, the I only must one who actually gets any work done around here is me. Jesus. Alright, I got it. She's doing fucking laundry. Can I... Hello? Should I fucking leave? 
Not through that door. Where did she leave? I'm not coming out of the set. It's in the air and the food there poisoned me. I don't want to do that. It's the key for the padlock. Oh, well, okay. Oh no. no, no fuck. You want to play hide and seek? Uh, you, you know I'm in there. She is. I have to hide. She locked the door. I'm trapped. Her, I'm hiding. She can leave now. She just locked the fucking door, so I can't go anywhere. Oh, this shit again. No. Oh, it's the, no, it's the mouse wheel. It was the mouse wheel, not the mouse. They fucked with me. She's leaving. Oh. Whoo. That was a close one. Anything else around here? I mean, probably not, but. So we found a padlock key. Iron wire. More insecticide. Alright, so the pad. There's a padlock on the door. Oh, why did you get to the lobby? Uh, maybe that's what that's for. Oh, I can actually make these applies butcher power up enabling to use the QDI two times before it breaks. Oh, so it upgrades your uh so that's not doing the upgrades in this game, it's crafting. It's not gonna be via the random trophies that are st uh static. Okay. I don't know which way she went. I never used the crafting in this. Well, yeah, because there's enough of the fucking shit, you know? Like, you find so many of these goddamn weapons. Like, look, there's another one. Like, every drawer has at least one. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what these moth keys are, though. They seem important. What's this? Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, those are what the keys are for. Look at that. Fucking nailed it. So barrier improves the ability to block doors to keep stalkers away. When you game against stalkers, trying to break through a door you were blocking is slightly easier. Uh, improves stamina and speed. Okay. Reduces noise when moving and improves proficiency inside hiding spots. That's good. Sharp is increased proficiency with defense items. Okay, slightly easier. Mini games. Health recovery. That's good. Health recovery speed while crash increased by five. That's cool. Proficiency using diversion items. Time to activate plus five damage done plus five. 
uh, unlock special abilities when health is critical. Noise from movement reduced by 2%. Okay, so that's kind of like a wild card thing. Add a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. Add a chance to, after acquiring a moth key, you're gifted another one. Oh. And Mother uh, Acherontia improves proficiency when using the moth eye. What's the moth eye? I'll figure that one out later. Um... I like this. Well, this concept's good, but it's this one's ten. Everything else seems to be five. Um, health recovery is super important, so we're gonna level that one up. Um, shadow, please. Stamina and speed, please. Um, we have fifteen left. Let's take the luck one. Fuck it. The next one is one out of five times upon finding a quick defense item. Knife here, it will already have the corrosive power up. That's pretty cool. Moth eye is a guy in a moth costume that shoots arrows. God damn it. I think everything else. Oh, I can do. There's a couple that are five here still. Sharpness or proficiency with defense. So self defense for use of stalker attacks are slightly easier. Okay. Break through the way you block it. Uh, no. I don't really try to block doors. Uh, it might be sharpness, unless there's another one. Okay, tool wizard improves person using diversion items. Okay. So if I unlock special reason, health is critical. Oh, okay. Noise. Okay. This is like supposed to be something random every time, I'm assuming. Nope. It's just noise for movement reduced by four. Fuck. Unlock special abilities when health is critical. Your noise for movement is reduced. Oh, okay. Thanks. Glad I spent those. But that's pretty cool. Now they know that. Fuck me, dude. Flashbang beyond fucking belief. All right. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. So, Mr. Roy, how you been? Welcome in, by the way, my friend. The Karelian. I don't know. I'm just going to keep picking up whatever's there. For the most, most part. Everything's on the ground. Big deal. Flower pack. Another missing child. It's been alright. I'm up at this time now. Yeah, I could see that. Happy to have you. Brother Rye. Uh, booze. A knife. Uh, I think we have a dead fucking end over here. Because this door is locked. All right. Actually, I don't know how. I don't know where she is. She must not be over here, because I'd be hearing her talking and complaining. But glad to know that that's there. So as I get more moth keys, it looks like every moth key gives you ten actual moth keys, if that makes sense. Unless I started with twenty-seven and then found three of them to get to thirty. Shit. Is this the laundry room? Yep, okay, so that's not important. One equals ten. Yeah. I would okay. So that was my assumption. Alright, maybe I should go downstairs. Cause what I have so far, so I've used the telephone in the lounge room, ask for help. Ask Eliza for help, find a way to open room two thirteen. Unlock and use the lounge room telephone. So everything's lounge room. This fucking house is already confusing to me. At least the last house I felt like it was pretty square. Oh yeah, it showed this door. The fuck was that noise? What's this? I have some rope. I can hide here. That's good. Uh, screwdriver. Can't hide in there. Can hide in there, though. That was a lot obnoxious and not necessary. What's that? A bottle. Ooh. Oh! Alright, so that's not how you repair the electrical cable. Shit. 
All right, no biggie. So this makes sense. Oh yeah, I fucking dropped this thing. I crafted that. Give it back. All right, another save point. Let's take it. Let's try to restore some life. We're good. Let's save the game. Oh, that's a good chocolate peanut butter milk stout. All right, I guess we head back into the uh, this area, wherever this is. Oh shit, she's right there. I forgot. Where's my keys? Cause I picked up a key. This is all crafting. But items. There's nothing to do with keys. Okay. Maybe you just automatically use them, unlike the last game where you have to select it. But like, I don't know which door is to, like, which. If they said the padlock, I'm like, okay, which one? If it was a master key, I'd be good, but I'm assuming that's not the case. Should I try to open the drawer right here? I should not have opened the drawer right there. Fuck. I think I know where a hiding place is. Jesus. Okay. Uh. Good fucking beer. Oh. So we have the music to subside. That usually means she's done for. <clears throat> Gotta go now and learn to use OBS tomorrow oh morning. So I need to sleep. I have to leave this place oh. at once. Well, if you need anything, please hit me up. I'd be happy to help you as best I can. Um, it's a little bit. So I'm assuming you're coming from Streamlabs. Um, if so, I if you haven't looked it up, there is a way to export everything from Streamlabs, import to OBS. So it's a good place to start. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's an adventure. There's a lot more, a lot more that you can use. Um, the plugins are crazy. Some of them even just, just are just wild as fuck. But, uh, but yeah, get your bearings with it. And uh, yeah, if you have any, have, need any help for anything, just let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Of course. For the amount of times I fucking air horn you, I should at least once try to help you out with something. <laughs> right, that's the room I need to get to. But I'm not going to get to that room because I need to go ask Eliza for help first, who's in the kitchen. Where's the kitchen, you may ask? No idea. Like, I'm not too sure which... I mean, I don't want to open that door anyways. Trust me, pal. Stick like in the first game. I don't think it makes sense, so good luck figuring things out. Yeah, see, I've heard a mix... I, so, I've heard mixed reviews on this game. I've heard it wasn't, as, it wasn't good because, quote, it's not like the first game. And I'm playing this now, and I'm like, this is just like the first game. <laughs> Um, but what did you think about it? Did you like this one as much as the first? Less? More? Just out of curiosity. Ashman's parents have done a great deal for this town, even promoting theatrical. Bad reviews because it was supposedly a broken mess at launch. Oh, okay. I remember when it dropped because I didn't know about the first game. But I remember this came out, and I think I saw some like scare clips from it, and I was like, oh, cool. And then like, I heard there was a first one, and like, just, I added both of them to my wish list, and never really went back. And then one day I was like, I should probably play these. 
Can you? No, you fucking dumbass. Look at the other one. The uh, that one. It's the only one you can see. It's the only one you can see. There you go. So prior to the fire, the nuns were busy cultivating the Ashman family's lands. The nuns were cultivating the lands, and then that same family that they were cultivating the lands for, fucking, uh, basically killed them. That's ridiculous. This one is a million times better. Oh. I'm sorry, what? Come on, Gimpy. I'm gonna hide in here this time. Should I grab the lady's booty yet? No, I have not. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. That is absurd if it's real. Oh. Should try, obviously not literally. <laughs> okay. See, I can't get into the lounge room because that's locked. Lobby is locked from the other side, which is stupid. All right, so what are we? Repair this with cable. Unlock and use the lounge room telephone. As size of help, find a way to open room 213. Use telephone in the lounge room. Ask for help. So the strange thing is, is I'm supposed to get to the kitchen. That's where Eliza is. They've said, she said that's where she was. I don't know how to find the fucking kitchen. Did she stop and look over or something? Oh, she did. Shh, not while I'm sneaking past, please. My word. Fucking oodaloo. Come on, man. You're too slow, bitch. You can't get me. Alright, nothing good around here that I could do. Oh! Her? Oh, that'd be cool. Maybe I should let her capture me then. Fucking stab this bitch. It's an idea, right? She is looking for me real hard. There she is. Right on over. Here we go. Begin the mini game. Or not. Backstabs. Okay. Oh, that's right. She kind of knew what was going on. That's right. Okay. Great to see you again for some remothered broken porcelain. Hey, Van, thank you so much. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you being here again. There's also a phone in her room beside a coat rack. Yeah, that I'm assuming that's in the lounge room because every other room I can I could try to open is fucking locked.
And I know I picked up a key. It was like, oh, I opened up, I found the padlock key. And I've yet to find the quote unquote padlock to get in. Jesus fucking Christ. Spore, that was good timing, you bastard. What's that? Oh, screwdriver. Take my scissors back. So if I go downstairs, you can fix the cables or whatever. But that's not really my con uh, the circuit breaker. But that's not really my big concern right now. Let's try to get in there, I believe. That's to the lobby. There's gotta be some oh, here's the phone. Damn. We can't make external calls. No we external calls. Cut the following rooms, please follow these instructions. Dial room number followed by pound. For rooms 211, 212, 213, 337. Dial pound for room number and uh for, by floor number and room number for rooms. Dash dash ten dash dash dash. Okay. So the queen size rooms have different phones. Got it. Good luck with this. Oh yeah, I, now I look over and see the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you need someone to open a specific room? Can you call it and have the AI unlock it? Yes, exactly. So there's going to be, uh, if I were to open room 213. So she's got, that's the only the number I have here is 213. So, 213. Dial room number followed by pound. 213 pounds. It works. Okay, thanks. Go to room 213 and find Eliza. Well, can I make the fucking phone call first? I have a rotary phones. Oh, pound. Think now. I have to make sure not to get caught. Oh god, I hope they don't find out. Okay, how do I go away? Okay. Coming from room 213. Why are you doing this to me? What the fuck? Why is she bat? Why is she? Even Andrea must have been young. Oh shit! Still here. <laughs> I just threw that by accident. <laughs> Christ! God damn it, anonymous! Sure, fast as fuck. Yeah, apparently. Hope she unlocked the fucking door. Fast as fuck, boy. Oh, right there. Girls, filthy girl. Who's having fun? All right, she unlocked the door this time. Shut up. Where have I ended up? Bird was drunk at DD saying his character turned heel. Oh my god. Bird got drunk? Yeah, I've only seen him drunk once. I feel like mashed ass. Gonna go lay down. Uh, go lay down, buddy. Feel better. Appreciate you coming out anyways. And... <laughs> Ooh, hanging for a bit. They all dead, bruh. Uh, bless. He drank two drinks with dinner and was crunk. That's like me these days. 
Poor bird. If I could have someone redeem a bird in the chat, he deserves it. Oh, there it is. Here's the fucking safe. I knew it. I told myself that I was going to keep track of those numbers, and I forgot them. Bird boy like me, lightweight. He was on a wanted poster and knocked a town's person out cold when they saw him in town. Thank you for redeeming that. That is a fucking knife I don't need. Come on, get this one. This one. Thank you. Nothing. Great. There's no power. It won't work. Oh, I, I can't. I can't make outgoing calls though. Um. But yeah, there is a way to. We're gonna be able to figure out that. But we have to get the power first. He's lawful good. Not anymore. I bet. <laughs> For real. All right. Let's check this. Good for the consequences of own actions. Oh, yeah. What's this? Paper knife. What's this? Cup. What's this? Bottle. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Now... <laughs> Fuck me in the dickhole, motherfucker. For real? Electrical cable? I just fucking took that. Croissant protecton. A corrosion protection. <laughs> a fucking croissant. <laughs> croissant protecton. <laughs> like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Croissant protection, sir. <laughs> sir. Croissant protection. What's this? You shouldn't have encouraged Lynn to take part in the contest. And maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lynn? What the fuck did she do? Damn, it's locked. Yeah, don't I have a fucking key? How do none of these keys fucking work? Alright, well, we got some things to do. Turn the power back on. Repair electrical cables. So, boom, boom. Access the balcony from room 213. Look for Eliza. Croissant. A croissant. Thank you. Uh, okay. So we had to go to that. Um, we go downstairs. Place the cable. Flip the power on. Immediately hide. She's going to be like, who turned the power on down here? Also, if the power is on, why the hell is my sewing machine working? Pretty sure that's fucking electric. Who knows nowadays? <clears throat> Go. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you motherfucker. Oh, fuck me. No, bitch. No. One of those rage and hatred. Yeah, probably. She knows I'm going to be in here, so she's going to check. And it's weird. It's not the mouse this time. I'm pretty sure it's the mouse wheel or something. Because the mouse is not very receptive to what I was doing. <laughs> Fucking tree, dude. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Sleepy time? Alright, Spore. Go get some sleep. Hope you feel better tomorrow morning, man. Why me? Why? Why me? Why? Fucking whispering down here? Not cool. Alright, let's do our thing here. Yes, yes, please. Oh no, I almost 
just had it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm dumb. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so it's before, before that point. Okay. Yes, yes, please. Yes, I did it. Unlock the safe in room two thirteen, and access the balcony from room two thirteen. So my assumption is the key to get out of there is probably in room two thirteen. Problem is, is I don't think I have. All of the pieces of the combination yet. Safe room 213, trusted safe. Your device model 176 pounds. Get your code for technical assistance. I can't I can't call that number though. No external calls. So I don't know about that. We have to backtrack and find the numbers again. I know one of them was six. I know that for sure. Uh. All right, perfect. Let's restore our life. Just snapping our bones back in place, no biggie. Okay. So we looked at all the drawers really already, but if any drawers seem to be closed, I'm going to reopen them just to make sure. Yeah, because there's a, there's a nine. Are you an insane? Jesus fucking Christ. That was fantastically timed, you bastard. And uh, I think I'm winning. I feel like a winner so far. <laughs> Corrosion protectant. Not croissant protection. <laughs> God damn it. Hiding spot. Locked. All right, so nothing in this room, really, then. Which is... Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a knife. Okay. We'll check down this way, make sure everything's clear. Oh, boy. Uh, do I have any more moth keys? I have 10. Stamina increased by 5. So I reduced difficulty of hiding spots minigame. Improves health recovery again. Unlock special abilities when health is critical, but that's just noise from movement reduced by 4. Uh, 1 out of 5 times by finding a quick defense item. It will already have. Alright, that's kind of cool, but I think I need it. He'd be a winning. Oh, yeah. Health recovery, I feel like, is the most important. Captain Clank, welcome back, my friend. Ah! Flash banged. What's this game called? So it's called Remothered Broken Porcelain. It's the second game in the Remothered series. Damn, it's locked. Okay, I remember this now. Yeah, this is the end of this hallway. So we played the first one uh, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. It was Remothered uh, Tormented Fathers. And it was pretty damn good. This game has a similar feel to it. Um, but it's like a continuous storytelling. 
You're up one more follower. Nice. Congrats, man. Let me just check to make sure it's not in any of these drawers. A bottle. Okay. Um, that covers all of that. Wait. Let me just make sure. I know mean, these doors are locked. I know that already. Okay. Weird flex. I guess so. So again, all I have so far is that nine. But I know I've seen at least one more number somewhere. And I'm pretty sure it was back in the main, uh, main area. Ah. Jesus Christ. <coughs> God damn it, Soma. Uh, how? How? I just want to go home. How? How did you see me? Fast as fuck, boy. Okay. Is it remothering just a breeding kink? I don't think so. Remothering means like you're. Uh, I don't know. Oh shit. Oof. Yeah, fuck off. Crackhead. Alright, let me check the room I started off in first. Just in here. Maybe there was a number in here. I know I saw another one. I didn't think anything of it at the time. And I saw the second one and I was like, oh. Like, I need this for uh, safe purposes. Speaking of safes, that's wide the fuck open. And not that one. Wasn't in this bathroom. Okay. It's locked. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. All right, what the fuck am I doing with it? I can't open this? God damn it. Huh. I swear there was another one that I saw, another number. Not there. Jenny Bish. Oh, it did it to you again. Again. Thank you for your feedback. Oh my god. Get out of here, Twitch. There's got to be another one that I saw. Cause I know I saw a second one. I'm telling you guys. Oh, that's a moth key right there. Thanks.
I don't know what's this, where the rest of this combination is going to be. There's got to be something in here that's helpful. What if it's 1973? Let's take a look. Oh no, what could the code be? Okay, that's not how that works. I wish I could call that number. Sugar keeps getting re-auto-modded for saying you bish, or they're just old as fuck. Uh, 0451, you know what? Nope. We tried. I know there's another room I saw that had this, uh... It had the, the number on it when I was searching. Huh. Is there some place else that I'm forgetting about? Like here? Nine. So it's two nines. Okay, open this door now. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I can make external calls. They'd be so boss. <laughs> Fucking asshole. God damn it, it keeps telling me to reapprove when Sugar said Jen you bish like an hour ago. Fucking Twitch, man. Oh. Oh, it's time, baby. It's time, baby, with a dealer. I have some kinks the that Willy I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. Hey, okay, hey, well, I have a foot back. Creeping Rickon. Welcome oh, in, welcome in. Oh, Hi, I'm Steve-O, and this is the Pussy Blast Off. Riz is here. Gotcha, bitch. I buy an op. 75% of the time, I die before I get a kill. I feel bad. One enemy remaining. One bullet. That's all I need. <laughs> It's all I need. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, did I just dude. see? Wow. That was oh, absolutely incredible. Perfect time on the fucking keyboard, cat. Welcome in, Wheeler. Welcome in, everybody. Wheeler, what did you play today? Was it a Valorant day? Was it a uh, Elden Ring day? What did you play? Man, it was funny that night. <laughs> Elden Ring? Nice. Are you still in this volcano lair or whatever it is? I know nothing about the game. I just saw that you were talking about a volcano place. I beat Riker's second try. Thanks for telling me to use the weapon near the boss entrance. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> just finished the volcano manor. Perfect. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Um, well, thank you for the raid. I appreciate you. Um, for the doggos, of course. And uh, yeah, welcome everybody else in. Uh, I'm the Juggernaut. I play horror games. Um, we're currently playing Remothered Broken Porcelain. Uh, we played the first one, which is Remothered Tormented Fathers, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. It was a really good story. Um, really cool survival horror feel, which is this game is feeling the same way to start. 
for the doggos. Correct, Riz. Um, but I'm really enjoying uh, this game so far. I'm just currently stuck at this point. Um, I need to access the balcony in room 213 uh, while I look for Eliza. But also, there's also a safe in there, and I only have two numbers so far. So I'm not too sure if I missed other numbers or what. Go, go, go. Because that lady's going to try to kill us. Because she's been trying to kill us uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> Fucking shit. Thanks a lot for the bits. So there's no other numbers in here? Really? That's where I found all the numbers before. It was in the drawers. I've only have two numbers so far. <laughs> Got him. True. Very true, Soma. They call that the lounge room. There's a fucking sewing machine in there. It's not very loungy. Yeah, I know. Fuck. So I have two nines. But I do nine nine and hit go. I guess I could try. Cause there's no other numbers I can find for the rooms that we have available to us. And it's see so the problem here too. Your device model one seven six pound. If you forget your code in for assistance, call 62131. We can't call the number because we can't make external calls. It said so we're on the phone. Now that I see 176 pounds, I want to try 176 pounds. Okay. Uh, because nine was important. No. Okay. There's a reason why I'm looking at this. They had, because otherwise there wouldn't be a button to select for it. If you forgot your code and for technical assistance, call this number, but that number is not going to work. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Probably. 62131. I wonder if 62131 is the actual code. That'd be funny as shit. 62131. Pound. No. Okay. I'll go try to make the call. 62131. Worst case scenario doesn't work. Guess we forgot the number already. Good thing it's in our fucking collectibles. Young Andrea. Okay, 62131. It's going to be the old lady's cell phone. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Why are you doing this to me? She just happened to be like, How's it going? Try 0176 pounds. I guess it's a possibility. Are right, you going to come play with me or. Fuck. No, it does. Oh God, it doesn't react. I have to leave this place at it once. wasn't reacting at all. I'm in the wall. <laughs> Good 
Goddamn knocking. Thank you for the bits. Like, why would you check over here? No, fuck off. I can't, I don't know how to, like, I've used the mouse. I used the mouse to try to keep it in the middle, just like the last game, but it's not doing anything. I wonder, I wonder if there's a different way to be handling it. Back at it. Okay. Real quick. Should be 62-121, I think. 62-131, okay. But it says no external call, so I don't know. We'll just try it. 62-131, see what happens. 62 one 31. In order to factory reset your save, insert the following code. 3, 2, 1, 4. 3, 2, 1, 4. We got it. Awesome. That's this way, though. Three, two, one, four. Don't knock. All right, three, two, one, four. We got this. Fuck me. Thanks, tree. Balcony key. Let's go. The French window. Okay, we've accessed the balcony. Now what? <coughs> Fuck. Okay, that's what. Thanks for the biddies. So I said no external calls. They probably meant like you're not supposed to make external calls here. Don't I have the fucking keys? Oh god, I'm freezing. Calm yourself. We're not What the fuck? How did she see me? Why you fucking idiot? Jump! My God! The fucking crows are giving me away. I'll give that a second. Fuck! I hear that whistling again. Oh, look, it's Bird's house. God damn it. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm fine. Is there a dentist chair? Dude, I would 
absolutely shit bricks. What are all these cages doing here? Felton? Gallo? So, this is the real reason why Rosso Gallo closed its doors. I'm bad. like that painfully. It would have been the same for any other. Oh, the jug shit. for rage, the Especially jug for rage, the jug for through. rage. 16 months. Thank you so much. That's my dad subscribing to me. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um. Boris and Marta died of natural causes. Uh, Dr. in secrecy, yep. Yeah, Gloria the Nun, yep, we learned from her the first game. But she wasn't, she actually did not die. Ooh. What the fuck? Okay, here we go. Wow, run. Jesus Christ. Calm down, calm down. Everything is fine. Mommy is here. Mommy is here. Yes. Yes. Leave it there. Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks, Tree. Find an altar escape route. Steal Andrea's master. Hehe. <laughs> Fucking door slam. All right, so we have to sneak up and steal her fucking key now. I have to be quiet. Then why are you talking? I got it. Oh God. Shut your mouth. Well, now I gotta open everything else up though. Get down. Get down. Hello? Why was she not? I won't crouch anymore. This is great. I'm fucked. She's gonna wake up. My crouch button's broken. I'm, I'm sorry. Cover? C? Okay. You walk out the door. Almost, but not quite, young lady. Fuck. <laughs> what do you want? Come get it. Where were you? Ah! One of your tough, fills you, you bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Oh, she's coming out to be hard this time. Oh, God, what the fuck? Sell the tech stalkers. If you can get close enough without being spotted, you can attack the stalkers. Hit them enough to make them fall to the ground for a while. Use this time to your advantage. Through this way, you'll be able to get those keys. Oh, got it. Uh, hello?
throw it this way. Sometimes drawing an enemy is completely to your advantage. Press you to make yourself heard by nearby stalkers. Use a diversion item to surround them. Okay, great. Jennifer, don't make me lose my patience. Can I fucking hide first? Like, shit. Going to bed. Thank you, Tree, for being here, buddy. Thank you for the lurk. Have a lovely evening. I hope you sleep well, and I hope tomorrow is a fantastic Tuesday for you. Jennifer. She's grabbing at herself. Did I actually stab? Did I throw something at her or something? Jennifer. Go back to your fucking sewing machine already. Sure, hide, you coward. Hide away. I'm no coward. I'm just playing the game. Sorry. Okay. Lynn, where are you? Yeah, where the fuck is she? Old Ashman, but we didn't need desperate children. Fucking oh, shit! Please. I'm in the fucking bathroom. I'm fucked. <laughs> there you are. Ah, you fucking bitch! I forgot about the fucking shower. So fucked. Don't move. You know what? I've had a fuck enough of you. Where are you? Fucking Where bitch. You, Excuse me. There you are. Fuck. That did not work at all. Yeah, I did. Ah, stop you, bitch. Not the pocky doll. Stop right there. Fuck with the wrong way. Ooh, well hidden. Oh, shit. We she are... is hurting. Look at her holding herself. I need those fucking keys. I can't take it anymore. Get out of here, you stinker. Have they completed their chores? Yes. Obviously not. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. I am hurting for sure. Oh I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Beating the shit out of her with a ball bag. Look at her. She got fucked up. All right, no worries. We said to go over here, and then we have a, a healing point. Ugh, I have a migraine, and it's all their fault. Shut the fuck up. They completed their chores. Is she just ch not? Is she just chilling right there? Oh my god! 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 The only one who actually gets any work done around here is me. Of all this. I just want to 
break from it all. Go Fuck. Away. Come on. Let me win this fucking mini game once today, please. Young lady. Oh, you have to go really hard. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, okay. That's why you have to it's the sensitivity is super fucking low. Get out of here, fuckhead. Come here. I won't hurt Again? You. Get out of here. Oh, God. I have to find Lynn. Fucking bitch. This is supposed to be a hotel. But it feels more like an orphanage. <laughs> wow. I thought you guys were just looking for some good help nowadays. My word. Fuck. Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. I can't tell where she is. Oh, now I can. She really hasn't been happy since I took her keys. I don't work with crybabies. I need to restore health immediately. Perfect. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Indeed, Soma. Indeed. That's a rough save, but it is what it is, I guess. Don't make me lose my patience. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch! Alright, come in here, do the thing. I will smash you in pieces with my own hands! I, I swear! I want to go home. All right, so clearly I have to knock this bitch on her ass, but like throwing the throwing mechanism sucks. I threw it and it flailed up and over. Like what? I throw it at her fucking feet. It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. Be best if you just fucking quit. Okay. We're good. Well, they're wandering around the house. I am here, working my ass off. Working my ass off. I still have no idea what the point of this bag is. It's like my packed bags of shit. Alright, well, I did save it right before that, so we're going to have a fun little time before then uh, for next trip. But I think that is going to do it for us this evening. Uh, we're a, little, a few minutes after one. Um, run, yes. <laughs> so we definitely need to um, throw shit at her to knock her down and grab those keys. That's definitely what's required. Um, so that's what we're going to be aiming for the next time we play, which should be Thursday. If all goes well, you know, nothing crazy happens between now and then, which it shouldn't. Uh, the downer side is I'm going to be on call for the first time, in like a month and a half, which has been great, but I'm on call starting Thursday. 
Um, so Thursday, Saturday, and Monday streams may be interrupted on occasion. I have to answer a phone call, press a number to be like, yep, I got the phone call, send a quick email, and that's it. Um, we've done it here a couple times before. It's a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think this game's going to be fun. I am Kang. I am Kang. Okay. Um, so we'll be picking this up for sure. I like, I, I was worried it's going to be completely fucking different. Um, but it's not. It has a very similar feel. Um, Maybe this one, maybe I'm just used to how intense the first one was from the get-go, where this one, I feel like they're like literally just throwing hints at you like, this is how we can make it easier. And I'm just not like picking it up. I'm just overthinking. Off to bed too, you all rock. Thanks for being awesome, Chug. No, thank you, Soma. You're the best. You're awesome. I hope you sleep well. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Uh, if you stream, I'll, I'll definitely drop by as much as I can for sure. What's all this anonymous gift or gifted you a tier one subscription to Baloney Boy? And I was also gifted a tier one subscription to Corn Husk. Neither of which is no baloney's still on. Well fuck. Alright, so we got Baloney Boy's playing Valorant. Zonum's doing some art. We got Heavy's playing some uh Tarkov duos with Noxler. Oh my goodness. All right. Fun hanging out. I'll definitely be back. Oh, thank you, Captain. Appreciate you, dude. Um, if you haven't, hit the little heart button at the bottom so you can follow the stream. I don't know if you did or not, um, but it'll remind it, uh, it'll push a notification to you when I go live. She'll know the moment I go live again. And I appreciate you for, for checking us out, of course. Um, so real quick, do we raid Heavy Hand Swings playing Escape from Tarkov with our buddy Noxler? Or do we raid Baloney Boy, who's playing Valorant? Oh, you did. Okay, thank you. Night, Riz. All right, let's go after Heavy then. Night, Arco. Thanks for uh, thanks for poking your head in every once in a bit. Always happy to see you. Let's kick off this uh, raid. Tweet one, heavy hand swings. Very good friend of mine and the stream. Um, if you all could hang out for a bit, um, join us on this raid of heavy hand swings. There's some messages here. You'll see that you can send if you're a subscriber. A line at the top with my face on it. It says it's a Jugger Mob raid. The other one is for everyone else. Uh, just their basic old raid uh, emote. As well as uh, the YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter links. Um, YouTube, you'll find VODs there. You'll find some clips there. More clips on TikTok. Twitter, I update and, uh, and post pretty regularly uh, for different updates, memes, what have yous. Uh, and also, if you're not part of the Discord... Uh, Please join. It is our like unofficial. It's our unofficial slash official home, whatever, outside of the stream, outside of Twitch, and uh, we have a lot of good discussions there. Uh, the NSFW channel gets fucking out of control sometimes, but it's it's all in good fun. Uh, so if you want to join, please join us. It'd be great to have you. Um, but as for me, that's it. I'm done. Uh, we'll play some more Remothered this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, and I hope to see you there. Have a good night.